friends, how are you? And how is your coding going? I hope you have been creating some amazing games and stories in Scratch. Scratch is a wonderful playground. And today I will teach you two cool special effects to add a wow factor to your games, cards and stories. So let's get started. First, I will teach you the confetti effect. I had used it in the birthday card in my previous class. So create a new project and get rid of Scratchy the cat. We need to paint a confetti sprite. So just go to this rectangle tool and draw a tiny rectangle in the middle. Get rid of this outline from here, the black outline and make it smaller. Make sure that it's in the center of this canvas. I've noticed that in Scratch you should make your sprite exactly in the middle of this canvas for it to behave appropriately. So let's go to the code and we will be using the concept of clones. I had introduced clones in that snake game that I had taught. So what is a clone? A clone is an exact copy of the sprite. We need copies of this confetti and we need them to fall down from the top. The clone is created at exactly the same place where the original sprite is. So let's write the code for it. In Scratch, everything starts with when flag is clicked, but in normally your games, the special effect will come at a certain point. For example, when game over, you can have this event here that the confetti receives when I receive a message like game over, okay? For the sake of this class, I will start the confetti code when flag is clicked. So when flag is clicked, it should create a clone of itself. And we need to make the clone multiple times. So we will make the clone inside a repeat loop. So we'll go to control and we will drag the repeat block, repeat 200 times. What should be done inside the repeat loop? If you look inside the control blocks, there is a block called create clone of myself. Let's drag this confetti to the top because we want it to fall from the top. And we want the clones to be created at exactly the same Y position, but the X position should be random between this point and this point. So let's see what is the X position here. And this is around 232. So we want the X position to be between 232 and minus 232. If we go to motion, we should not choose go to random position because we want the Y position to stay the same as this sprite. We will be choosing this block. And inside this Y, we will be plugging in the existing value of Y position so that it doesn't change. And what should happen to the X position? We go to operators, the green blocks, and we choose pick random. And what should be the random number? between minus 233 and positive 233. And we just drag and plug it in here and we put it inside the repeat block. And we also don't want the clones to be created at the same time. So we need to add a little bit of delay. So go to control and add a wait block here and let's make it 0 0.01 seconds. Now we go to the part where it has to actually fall down. So go to controls, we are already there, and go to when I start as clone. Now every clone needs to follow this code, whatever comes after this. So what should happen? I want it to just fall and just stay there when it reaches the edge. So I will be using this repeat until block, and what should come inside repeat until? Sensing, where it is testing for edge. Okay, so repeat until it is touching the edge. And what should happen inside this repeat until block? I want it to go down. And when we have to go down, we have to decrease the Y position. So change Y by minus five. So let's test this code. Now this has a single solid color. So what we can do is that we can make it a multicolored confetti and we can add a color changing effect to our code. So we go to looks, we choose this change color effect. Let's make it 10 and we plug it inside the 
repeat loop after create clone of myself i want it to change its color pick a random position between here keep the y position the same and then add a delay for the next clone to be created and for each clone it should keep on falling until it reaches the edge simple isn't it but very cool so look it looks nice i can make it fall faster by making this change y into minus 8 so it's falling faster now and if i don't like the mess here I can always delete the clone by going to controls and delete this clone when it reaches the edge. So now it, they are just being deleted. Nice, isn't it? Now let's go to the next cool effect. So let's begin. So I have created a new project for this effect. Make the background black. So just go to paint, choose the rectangle, make a big black not a purple one i forgot to change the color this looks cool now i need a star sprite from here we don't need to draw one because there's already a very nice symmetrical star available here so i will go to choose a sprite search for a star choose it go to costumes i don't want this yellow outline so i will just get rid of it and i will just color it so our sprite is done and let's go to the code so what should happen in this code again we are making clones so when flag is clicked go to controls again we need a repeat 200 times loop okay and i want it to create a clone of itself again that is also inside the control blocks so create clone of myself what do i want the star to do I want it to clone itself and then move in a random direction okay so what i will be using to accomplish this is turn 15 degrees block and instead of these 15 degrees it will be a random number between 0 and 360 degrees remember a circle a circle has 360 degrees i will be going to operators and then choosing this pick random so this will be a random number between 0 and 360 so i want this clone to turn in any random direction so create clone of myself and then choose any direction okay and then we need to add a weight block here weight 0 0.01 seconds now we need to add the code for it to be actually moving and just like the confetti this will be done in when i start as a clone when i start as a clone i want it to move and for how long should i let it move until it reaches the edge or a certain number of times so this time i will be moving it a certain number of times so i will be using the repeat block so repeat 20 times what should be done inside this repeat 20 times from the motion blocks i will be choosing move 10 steps so i don't have to change the x or y position i have set the direction of the clone and now i just want it to move in a straight line in that direction so this move 10 steps will take care of that okay so let's test our code oh this looks kind of cool this is not what i actually intended i should have put a delete this clone here but instead of being deleted they're just moving 10 steps 20 times and then they are just compiling in this beautiful formation this beautiful creation okay what i had actually meant to do was that i should have deleted the clone so i will just go to control and then i will delete this clone after this loop has ended okay so let's test it out this looks nice i can make the star effect denser by reducing the delay and i can also make this star effect denser by duplicating the star so there are actually two stars so this looks better now another thing i can do is that i can add color effect to it so if i go to looks and i change color effect by a 10 and what more i can do what i can do is that i want it to fade out as it moves okay 
so that can be done by ghost effect so i will go to looks and i will change the ghost effect by a positive number when the ghost effect becomes 100 it completely disappears so i will change the ghost effect by five so as you can see that they're fading out as they're moving out let's see it on a bigger screen so this looks nice you can tweak it according to your needs i hope you like these two cool effects that i have taught you in this class and in my next class i plan to teach you how to make your own paint program in scratch and i will be soon moving on to mit app inventor that is an amazing thing in which you can make your own apps and publish them on google play store and ios app store amazing things are in store for you so do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and do share my videos with your friends and family all my classes the programming coding and the mental math classes are 100 percent free keep on watching and keep on playing with scratch and see you next time with the paint class thank you for watching goodbye